Jojo Astro Barbie, fairy of love, and this week I will be your special fairy. I will open up my wings and send you lots of love and light everywhere you go. You're gonna need it because I'm wearing my beautiful eclipse glasses. That means uh, hmm, there's gonna be some little dark side happening this week, but all together, it's all good. Welcome to your weekly horoscope, my beautiful friends. This week, the sun, that is in the sign of Cancer. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, Cancers. We'll move to beautiful, glamorous royal sign of Leo on Sunday. So happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, my kings and queens of the zodiac. The moon will travel in the signs of Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. And on Friday, we have a dragon's unbelievable wrath. Dramatic full moon in the sign of Aquarius, Eclipse. That makes us more sensitive, of course, more creative also, and it will help us also to see the light at the end of the tunnel and see what is true and not true for us and also collectively. On Tuesday, we have a Venus, planet of love, and Neptune, planet of dream, opposition. This is very powerful. It brings us some possible disappointments in love and finances. We need to be very careful for any kind of involvement, taking risks and to, in those departments. We have to do things very wisely and cautiously. Later also, there's a tricky sun square Uranus. Sun is life itself. Uranus is change and shock. That can make us a bit erratic and impulsive and a little bit insecure. So we also have to be cautious in everything we do. Put the brakes on, there's no rush. The turtle, I'm telling you, wins the race, not the rabbit. On Tuesday, on Thursday, I mean, well, Mercury planet communication in the sun of Leo will go retrograde. That's the big news of the week two until the end of August, the 19th. It will slow down a lot of the communications. It will allow us to see to the truth about the justice, about everything. And we will be able to also be more wise. It's very important this week to do things slowly, not to take any risk, not to sign any contract. If possible, if you do have a surgery, make sure that your Mercury and your Mars has a good aspect. If you do, there's no problem. If not, reschedule. This week will be also quite sensitive inside and also delicate spiritually, mentally better not undertake anything really important. Reschedule after the 19th of August. The good news, well, is that uh, all these negative aspects will bring out the truth and justice and also accountability to the people who are lost in the dark. Listen, we are here on earth to learn lessons and to grow and it's okay. Somehow everything to do with spiritual practices, meditation, prayers, yoga, very important it suits our souls and it helps us to truly serve better those crazy times where the stars are really a little bit of wavy okay and it brings us also enlightenment in us also to make right decisions okay so have fun with the eclipse leo leo happy birthday to you happy birthday to you we love you your highness wear your crown high and be the master of your destiny it's a new beginning for you the full moon and eclipse in your relationship house and mercury planet of communication retrograde in your sign brings a sense of renewal adventure a new awareness of who you are the good news is to really really to just focus on you what you really want in life and focus on your goals where do you want to be in five years from now and to re-evaluate all your situations and finances and career and love and friendships Artistic projects are definitely favored. Time to also to lead your majesty. Be cautious with the travel and finances and love commitments. Just double check everything on the weekend. Rest and pamper yourself. Treat yourself royally. That's what I say. Your magical color is blue lucky numbers 10 and 55. Virgo, the full moon eclipse in your workhouse and Mercury, your master planet, retrograding in your spiritual sector, make you very wise. It brings you also a strong awareness of who you are and where you want to be in five, ten years from now. You will also be quite busy, but also content. Expect to be at the right time, at the right place with the right people in a very magical way. That's the gift of the eclipse 
and also from the mercury. Studies, seminars, health treatments are favored. Avoid traveling if possible. On the weekend, friends will touch your heart. Your magical color, blue lucky numbers, 4 and 25. Libra, the full moon and eclipse in your creative house and Mercury retrograde in your social sector bring some kind of uh, wisdom and enlightenment and you're definitely becoming more and more in control of your life, in your family life especially, and your relationships are more smooth sailing and this week and the next couple of weeks you'll be able to take some very good decisions about this. You're absolutely done with accommodating other people. It's about like a fair deal for you and others. Group activities, studies, research, seminars, art projects are favored. Avoid traveling if possible. If not, expect a little bit delays. On Tuesday, be very cautious. Your master planet Venus is in a position, so you have to be cautious in everything you do. On the weekend, make peace with the past. Your magical color lilac, lucky numbers, 3 and 39. Ta-da! Scorpio, the full moon eclipse in your home house and Mercury retrograde in your sort of uh, career sector bring bring you like a new confidence, like you're a tiger. You have a higher energy and you're very, very powerful. It's like you're able to take decisions. It's a wake up kind of call that eclipse. The wisdom of Saturn also brings you a certain kind of uh, the way to really know what's best for you and to really conquer something about your health, about your looks, about your beauty, and about your wellness. I'm telling you this week, my beautiful Scorpios, you could do something impossible. You could move a mountain that will change your life forever. On the weekend, you should celebrate you. Your magical color, fuchsia, lucky numbers, four and eight. Ta-da! Sagittarius, the full moon eclipse on your communication house and also Mercury retrograde in your comic sector, bring protection, especially in family matters. A new way of seeing your relationships in your personal life. And at work, you attract new financial opportunities, some ideas to make more money, or some investment you could do in real estate or in a project, artistic project. Just tap into your infinite possibilities this week. Everything to do with loans, real estate, insurance, cars, house are favored. And on the weekend, surround yourself with happy people. They will inspire you and suit your soul. Your magical color is red, lucky numbers 321. Capricorn, Capricorn, the full moon eclipse in your financial house and Mercury retrograde in your shared resources sector bring answers in health issues and also in your career. And even in your love, you get answers, you get ideas. Everything to do with health and family matters are extremely favored right now, but you're the leader. You're the one taking the lead. The stars make you very strong and ready to really make a fresh start, especially in your personal life. You make a difference this week. So thank you for being there on the weekend. Tender moments awake. Your magical color silver, lucky numbers, five and 10. Ta-da! Aquarius, where you're the star of the week. The full eclipse moon, the full moon eclipse in your sign and Mercury retrograde in your relationship sector really bring, wow, the light out of you, a lot of wisdom, enlightenment in your soul, new ideas at work and clarity in your love life. A good time to plan long term about your goals, what you want to accomplish in the future. This is a week to also relax, to meditate, to not to rush too much and to make wise decisions. Be ready for a love surprise on the weekend as you deserve and try to look your best because the world is watching. Your magical color violet like numbers 7 and 22. Ta-da! Pisces, Pisces, the full moon and eclipse in your spiritual house and Mercury retrograde in your workhouse definitely bring wisdom, confidence. Where everybody is a little bit down, you're actually a little bit up. It's better also to be sort of flexible, understanding, and generous of heart with everybody around you. You're sort of the healer, all right? The guru around. People will rely on you. The angel, in other words. If you have suffered a loss of something in your life in the last many months, you'll be able to heal this week. Artistic and spiritual activities are very much favored, and stars invite you to follow your heart in everything you do. Forget, forgive, forget, and move on, no matter what. The past is gone, all right? And you create your future today. That's why it's called the present. On the weekend, inner peace awaits. Violet is your color and your lucky numbers are 9 and 36. Aries, the full moon and eclipse in your social house and Mercury retrograde in your creative sector, bring a new beginning, a sense of uh, 
wellness. You can see clearly now. You know the song? I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. That's your song this week, especially in your personal life. Somehow the world sees you in a different light. So it's very important to go with confidence everywhere you go. Don't show any form of insecurity. It's better to fake it to make it. All right. You can also get new ideas and opportunities to make more money and, and have more financial independence. This whole eclipse of Mercury retrograde is actually a blessing for you. It's in disguise, but you'll see what I mean at the end of the month. On the weekend, love is definitely present, so just let your heart be loved. Your magical color red, like in numbers five and 32. The full moon eclipse in your career house and Mercury, planet of communication, retrograde in your home sector, definitely brings gratitude and reflection, wisdom, everything to do with your family and friends. And somehow you have a new positive, very relaxed, more confident attitude that really makes a difference in your relationship. And this eclipse and Mercury retrograde will really sort of deepen that new attitude that you have, based more on faith in yourself and security within. Therefore, you project it and it makes a difference in your relationships. Financially, do not take any risk, especially on Thursday. And on Tuesday, when your master planet Venus is opposed, it's very important to be cautious and not to do anything important either, okay? On the weekend, rest and pamper yourself. Yes, spoil yourself, my cute little bullies. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers, 17 and 21. Gemini, the full moon, beautiful eclipse that is very enlightening in your karmic house, especially with you. And Mercury, your master planet, retrograde in your communication sector, bring new ways of doing things. You can do things like in the old days because now the universe will make you accountable and it will want totally you to be the best you can be. It's a very good time to really make things right, especially in career or dealing with other people. Expect to feel a sort of sensitive, but also want to be closer to people who are your family and friends. So you know what? You need help and you need support. Just knock on their door and they will be there for you. I promise you. So all together, this whole week and the next few weeks will be an opportunity for you to really make a fresh start in the right direction. So good luck to you on the weekend. Closeness with friends definitely make you feel great. Your magical color, lilac lucky numbers, eight and 44. Ta-da! Cancer, cancer, that's me, the full moon. That's our master and eclipse in our shared resources sector. Wow, and Mercury retrograde in our financial house bring a better understanding of our possessions, what you would like to acquire, of our financial situation, and also new ideas to reinvent ourselves in our personal and career life. I mean, you gotta think big and rich, and you gotta do it right. Don't think small, because the universe and the eclipses will manifest small. Think grandioso, think genius. You are definitely on the right track, at the right time, with the right people. Slowly but surely, yes, you have the power and the freedom to manifest your goals and your dreams like never before. Jupiter in Scorpio right now until November really is giving you wings to fly high, so please take advantage. Also, it's very important to put order in your affairs, to clean up clutter, get rid of things you don't need in your life and make a fresh start the whole week. Just clean up, clean up, clean up, but think big spiritually. On the weekend, do something very sweet for yourself. Go shopping, actually. Even with eclipses, go shopping and buy yourself something or for somebody you love. Your magical color pink lucky numbers 10 and 28. And now here's the beautiful affirmation of this very enlightening eclipse week. The statistics say that there is at least two people in the world that would die for you. Did you know that? And at least 15 people in the whole world that love you in some way. I really like it. So try to think about that this week. And this week, just be go, be a turtle, okay? Don't be a rabbit, especially if you're a fire sign, okay? With the eclipse in Leo, this is a time to be humble, to be nice, to be sweet, to be kind, not to really start anything important. And if you need a little advice, a little guidance, a little boost, you can always call me and make an appointment with you. I will be very happy to share my wisdom and my love with you and guide you in the direction of your happiness, your peace, your health, and success. I am a fairy, a real one, and I am a woman with wings, so I could fly anywhere and I could connect with any soul. 
I love you guys. So have fun this week and enjoy the rest of the vacation months, okay? Mm -hmm. And happy birthday, Leos. Happy birthday, Leos. We love you.